Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me and welcome to the first video coming to you from my new home post move. So this part should look fairly similar, but you will notice a little bit of a difference in the studio. Uh, the back wall, like the wall behind me that you see in kind of the front on shots is a different color. Uh, it's kind of like a little mid-toned gray. Uh, so I'm hoping that's going to add a bit more kind of dimension and clarity to those front on shots. I look forward to hearing what you think. I have already filmed a full studio tour for my $10 and up patrons. So that is available now on my Patreon page. So if you would like to see my new studio, see how I store my ingredients and help support Humblebee and me, please consider becoming a patron. I'll link to that in the description box below this video. And now onto the formulation. So our inaugural new home formulation is a gorgeous dry argan oil hair mist. This formulation was inspired by kind of a selection of argan oily hair oils, serums that are available on the market. I know Moroccan oil has one and OGX has one. If you've ever you know, turned the bottle over and read the ingredient list on that, you'll see that argan oil is usually fairly far down the ingredient list. And that is because it is diluted in something lightweight. So that first ingredient or those first couple ingredients are typically something like cyclomethicone, cyclopentasiloxane, and or isodoticate. So these are all really lightweight, volatile, thin liquids. The cyclomethicone or isodoticane really allows you to spread the oil over like a large surface area or through quite a lot of hair before it evaporates off. So you don't uh, accidentally over apply. It kind of makes for a, a slightly more user-friendly product than just pure oil, especially if your hair really doesn't like uh, a lot of oil. It just it makes it a little uh, easier to apply, harder to kind of overdo it. So in this formulation, our diluting uh, ingredient is cyclomethicone, but if you would like some alternatives, make sure you read the blog post linked in the description box below this video. Argan oil features at 20%, but if your hair really loves oil, you can absolutely play with those ratios. So you could increase the argan oil by 10, 20, 30% and then reduce the cyclomethicone to make room for it. So you can create something that is perfectly tailored to your hair. So I have presented this in a mister bottle. It comes out in a mist, which I think is very, very cool. If you are altering the formulation to feature more oil and less cyclomethicone, you may find that your product has sort of enough viscosity that it doesn't so much mist, it's just like come out in a stream. Uh, and if that is the case, you may wish to choose something like a, a dropper top bottle instead for easier application. Uh, just for something to mist, it really does need to be like water thin. And so once we start kind of creeping up in viscosity, creeping towards something a little bit thicker, we kind of go from like lovely mist to like kapow, water pistol, which uh, may or may not be the application experience that uh, you're going for. This really is crazy simple to make, just mixing everything together at room temperature and popping it in here. Heck, you could mix it straight in here if you, uh, wanted to. Uh, for more information, as always, please make sure you're reading the full partner blog post linked in the description box below this video. You will find a ton of extra great information down there, information on substitutions, scaling, shelf life, links to places to buy all the ingredients, just heaps and heaps of great info. But yeah, um, let's go and check out my new studio. All right, so we're going to begin by combining the three ingredients that form the base of this uh, hair oil mist. So I've got a wee little beaker here on a nice precise scale. So we're going to begin with 17.3 grams of cyclomethicone. You could also use cyclopentasiloxane, or you could try using a natural cyclomethicone alternative. So something like uh, Lux Glide N5. So uh, for more information, please make sure you are looking this ingredient up in the Humble Bee and Me Encyclopedia. And so this is our really lightweight base. This is the thing that really uh, sort of lightens up the oil and makes it, you know, so that we can apply it to the hair and spread it around very thoroughly uh, and, and really helps make this product suitable for hair types that aren't super tolerant 
of oils. So our next ingredient here is some C12 to 15 alkyl benzoate, and we're going to need two and a half grams of this. So this is a really lovely lightweight ester that helps contribute to this product feeling really, really light and non-greasy. This was a gift from Essential Wholesale. And now it's time for our star ingredient, argan oil. So you're gonna need five grams of this. And you could use a different oil that your hair loves. I think broccoli seed oil could be gorgeous. You could also try jojoba oil, really anything that you, you know, really like. <laughs> to learn more about this, make sure you're looking it up in the Humble Bee and Me Encyclopedia. Kind of neat there, you can see the different layers uh, due to the, you know, the different densities of everything, but uh, give this a wee stir here and it will all come together. And now it's time for our last two ingredients. So we have our antioxidant, some vitamin E, and we are going to need 0.125 grams of this. And then our last ingredient is our fragrance. So I'm using this sunset heat from the Sensational Soaping Supply. I did order this out of the US and I don't know of anywhere that you can get it in Canada, but honestly, just choose something that you love the scent of. You could use an essential oil as well. We're using this at 0.3%, which should be safe for most essential oils, but as always, make sure you are researching your specific ingredients. So for this batch size, that is 0.075 grams, which is not going to be much at all, just a few drops. So a bit of a note about this fragrance. So this is meant to be a dupe of an Escada perfume, Escada being an expensive fashion brand. Um, and so they, I guess, have a perfume with the same name and it's supposed to smell a lot like this. And so you can get dupe scents for a lot of fancy kind of perfumes and uh, products that have really iconic scents. So if you really love the smell of a product, see if you can find a duplicate fragrance for it, because that can be a great way to get that smell in your own creations and also for a lot less money. With all the ingredients in there, we'll give that a stir to combine. And that's it for the making part. So up next is packaging. So because this is a mist, you will need to put it in a mister bottle. You don't have to use it as a mist if you don't want to, but because as you can see, it's very thin, you'll want to put it in something that's going to control your application. So even if it's just a bottle with a dropper top, uh, that can work really well. But I'm using this little one ounce uh, mister bottle from Yellow Bee, and this was a gift. is thin enough that it really you don't have any any issues pouring it into the container with like a funnel or something like that uh, and here we go write up a quick little label for it and before I apply the label I'm just going to wipe down the tube with a bit of paper towel that I've misted with some isopropyl alcohol and this helps uh, the label stick is pretty much it for the making. I'll just do a quick little demo just on my arm, but you can see that this will mist. Yeah, that's very cool. I um, absolutely love that and it's super, super lightweight. So you can apply it to hair that doesn't really love oils, but if your hair does really love oils, you can very easily tweak the formulation, just shift the balance between the liquid oil and the cyclomethicone to have more oil and less cyclomethicone for a sort of more oil loving uh, balance. And there you go. So we just made a really lovely, super easy to make dry argan oil hair mist. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and please make sure you're reading the full partner blog post linked in the description box below this video. You'll find heaps more of helpful information in there, information on substitutions, scaling, shelf life, links to places to purchase all the ingredients, um, further reading, just lots of great stuff. But yeah, thank you so very much for watching. Welcome to my new studio space and I will see you in the next one.